Welcome to Tweety Steak. There is a huge crisis at the border and I've been waiting to speak on it as I've been trying to figure out how I need to approach it. I would not like to focus on any particulars, but rather I've decided that I'm going to be speaking about the ethics of what is happening. So in any case where you have a breach of a country, uh, illegal crossing over the border, obviously these people are breaking our laws. We are not um, able to handle the increase in the number of immigrants who are coming in illegally and, and our border patrol is being swamped and overwhelmed because of policies that have been enacted within the United States. So first, part of the issue is that we haven't done enough to stop the inflow from occurring, right? So the United States is responsible for what's happening. Second, for those who are coming over, a lot of them are children. And once you have children over the border and they have come over because of negligence on the government's part, the government becomes responsible for those children. At least in, in my opinion, they become responsible for those, those children. It doesn't matter if they are illegal or not. Um, and really, I don't believe that it, it should matter if they're, let's say, below the age of eight, I know it's hard to draw up certain numbers, but there seem to be ages where the children should not be held responsible exactly for what they've done, but rather it's upon the parents because of what the parents have taught and what the parents have, have done. Uh, but anyway, point being, the government becomes responsible for the children because the parents have released all obligations that they previously held in sending them over the border, right? A lot of these families are separated. Um, so these children now, uh, many of them, I, I've seen footage of this, are being put into the backs of vans and carted off to who knows where. Uh, and, and this is all being done. I mean, they don't have seat belts. They don't have uh, enough chairs for everybody in the car. And we don't know exactly what is happening because there's no transparency. So what's happening to those children, right? How is the government becoming responsible for them? Um, and so that's my second point is that uh, the children, the government becomes responsible because of their negligence. Now, a lot of people just want to, to send them back because they're, they came over illegally. And this includes adults, this includes children, this includes teenagers, right? Uh, and you have to recognize that a lot of these these people who are coming over illegally are, are also going to be involved in drug cartels or, or other gang related, uh, in other gangs. Um, so not everyone who's coming over is doing it in, uh, in a good state of mind, right? So now we have a huge issue we're going to see crime increase, we're going to see uh, more trafficking, we're going to see all these problems increase. Uh, but can we just send them back? Many people say that we can because point blank, they broke the law. However, I think it's a little bit n more nuanced than that because you have a situation where, yes, they broke the law, but the government wasn't enforcing the law. And if the government wasn't enforcing the law, uh, then they should be held partially responsible for the care of those who came over. But then it's also the tax-paying citizens, uh, they, uh, they start to bear the burden of all of this, right? So it's a huge issue because there are so many people who are affected by this. And if you send some people back, but then you, you keep others within the states, let's say uh, the children, you start to separate families and that's not good practice. That's not moral practice. So either you let everybody in or you keep everybody out. Or I think there's a third option and you, you deport everybody, right? You say, even though these are children, you deport them um, and send them back to where they were before. Put it, putting responsibility back on the people who tried to shove off their own responsibility, right? It, it, it's so hard to figure out what to do in these situations. I do not believe that we can just say, well, they're illegal, 
uh, but these children came um, out of no fault of their parents, so then we keep those and, you know, we separate families. I don't think that's ever going to be good policy. Either keep them all or deport. Um, and, and there's obviously going to be more to those arguments, but I'm trying to, ve to view it from a Christian perspective. You need to be caring for these people. Who cares if they're illegally coming over or not? They need to be cared for in one way or another. And if that care is putting them back out of the country so that they can come back in legally so that we can actually care for them in some way and they can also contribute to the economy and, and to the United States, then then let it be that way, right? But it, it just... I, I do not think it's as, as simple as saying they broke the law, they deserve to be punished. I, I don't think that you can just say that, right? Because the, these are still people in the long run. You think about the adulteress, and obviously this is a different type of sin, uh, but you think of the adulteress and how many people were tossing stones, dis, uh, saying that she deserved judgment, she deserved punishment. And then Jesus Christ comes in and hears their argument and then tells them whoever is the whoever does not have sin among you let him be the first one to to cast a stone right we all have broken the law at one point or another even if it's a minor one or a major one whether it be shoplifting, whether it be some laws that, that are so obscure that we don't know they exist, whether it be running a red light or, you know. While there are varying degrees to these laws, everyone breaks them at some point. It's just, are they caught or not? So we need to look at this and say, okay, laws are being broken, but how do you rectify this in a moral manner? How do you keep integrity in this situation and enforce the law? So... Uh, anyway, I wanted to bring this up because there, there, there are heartbreaking videos uh, of kids coming up to Border Patrol agents, and they are afraid. They're absolutely afraid. They're without parents, they're without anyone, and they're afraid that they're going to be abducted. Uh, and there, there are numerous videos of this. So... I say we, we really need, if you're going to have a strong border, keep it strong, right? I do think that's the best solution. But now that we have this issue, what is the moral way to go forward? Anyway, I put that question to you. Let me know what you think in the description, er, in the comments below. Uh, also, if you enjoyed this video and this discussion and, and the various ideas that I brought up, please like the video and share it with others. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. Thank you for watching. My name is Addison Tweedy and this has been Tweedy's Take, and I will see you next time. Yabesha.